welcome students so far we have discussed about the types of mixture that is solution suspensions and collides now we know that many of the materials around us are mixtures and these mixtures are made of constituents it means two or more than two substances uh, two or more than two constituents have um, mixed in a mixture right now it may not be possible uh, to use a mixture as such in homes and in industries uh, we require just one or two separate constituents of mixture for our use it's not uh, necessary that we require a whole, we require whole mixture so we need to we have to separate various mixtures into their individual constituents to make them useful in our daily life so the various constituents of a mixture will have different physical properties they are having different density different solubility different size of uh, particles behavior towards the magnet um vol volatility boiling points so there is a lot of difference in the physical properties of the constituents and this difference in the physical properties of constituents is used to separate them from a mixture so the method to be used for separating a mixture that depends on the nature of its constituents so different mixtures are separated by using different physical processes like we are having the commonly uh, physical process which we use are uh, to separate the constituents of mixture are sublimation magnet methods solvents filtration centrifugation evaporation crystallization chromatography distillation fractional distillation separating funnel so in uh, some cases more than one of these processes are used for separating a mixture so in order to learn the separation of mixtures we will consider following three cases the first one is mixture of two solids how we will separate the mixture of two solids second case mixture of a solid and a liquid how we will separate a mixture of solid and a liquid and the third case is mixture of two liquids that means how can we separate mixture of two liquids we will discuss all these three cases in detail one by one so uh today we'll discuss uh, how can we separate a mixture of two solids okay now all the mixtures containing two solid substances can be separated by one of the three methods one is the using a suitable solvent it means solvent method we can use a suitable solvent to separate the mixture of two solids second method is the process of sublimation and the third method is by using a magnet we can use any one of the following methods to separate the mixture containing two solid substances so we will describe all these methods of separating solid solid mixtures in detail one by one so let's start with separation by a suitable solvent okay so now in some cases what happens one constituent of a mixture is soluble in a particular liquid solvent whereas the other constituent is insoluble in it so one constituent is soluble in a particular solvent and the other constituent is insoluble so this difference in the solubilities difference in the solubilities of the constituents of the mixture can be used to separate them let me uh, make this clear by taking an example suppose i am having um, mixture of sugar and sand so i am having a mixture of sugar and sand okay now for example sugar is soluble in water right you all know that sugar is soluble in water uh, is sand soluble in water no so sugar is soluble sand is insoluble right so now we need to separate sugar and sand mixture so we will use water here so we will 
add water to the solution what will happen sugar gets mm, dissolved in water right if we add water to it what will happen sugar solution sugar will get dissolved in water and it will form sugar solution and sand will remain undissolved so then what we can do we can pass the sugar solution uh, through a filter paper and what will happen a sugar solution that that's containing sand also that is filtered over a filter paper and sand will remain as a residue on the filter paper and sugar solution is obtained as a filtrate right so sh then after obtaining the filtrate of sugar solution you can evaporate sugar solution and what will happen water will get evaporated and you are left with the crystals of sugar so in this way mixture of sugar and sand has been separated by using water as a solvent so here we used a solvent that is water so we choose the suitable solvent here so the uh, one method is there that you can choose a suitable solvent to separate the mixture of solid two solids okay but yes you can choose this method only when there is a difference in the solubilities of the constituents if both of them are soluble in the solvent then you can't uh, choose that solvent for separating the mixtures so this method can be chosen only when there is a difference in the solubility of the constituents of a mixture then you can choose a suitable solvent and separate them so this is one method the second method is separation by sublimation now we have already studied the process of sublimation in the previous chapter now we know that changing of solid directly into vapors on heating and of vapors into solid on cooling it's called sublimation and the substance which undergoes sublimation it's called sublime right and the solids um, the process of sublimation it is used to separate those substances from a mixture which sublime on heating it means those substances which undergo sublimation for only for those substances you can use this process to separate them from the mixture okay so the substance which undergo sublimation is called sublime and the substance obtained by uh, sublimation obtained by cooling the vapors that's called sublimate right so we are having some substances like ammonium chloride iodine camphor naphthalene anthracene that sublime on heating and uh, can be recovered in the form of sublimate by cooling their vapors so this means that ammonium chloride iodine camphor naphthalene they can change directly from solid vapors on heating and form from vapors to solid on cooling right most of the solid substance do not undergo sublimation suppose common salt sand sulfur chalk they do not sublime on heating so the process of sublimation it's used to separate that component of a solid solid mixture which sublimes on heating only then you can use this method otherwise you cannot use this method to separate the constituents okay so ammonium chloride iodine camphor these can be separated from a mixture by sublimation because they are sublimable okay so this will become more clear from this example suppose you are having a mixture of common salt and ammonium chloride so now <coughs> ammonium chloride you know it sublimes on heating whereas common salt it does not sublime on heating ammonium chloride and common salt that is sodium chloride this is a sublimable substance and the um, uh, sorry this is not a sublimable substance this is a sublimable substance okay and ammonium chloride it's not sub it does not sublime on heat so we can separate this mixtures we can separate ammonium chloride from the mixture of ammonium chloride and common salt by the process of sublimation how just take this mixture in a china dish um place it on a tripod stand and uh, cover the china dish with a with an inverted glass panel as you can see here in this diagram 
then loose cotton plug is put in the upper open end of the funnel to prevent the ammonium chloride vapors from escaping into the atmosphere because when ammonium chloride sublimes it um, uh, forms vapors so vapors can uh, go to the atmosphere so to prevent their escape from at into atmosphere we need to uh, close the end of the inverted funnel by some cotton plug okay and then you need to heat the, uh, the mixture on heating the mixture ammonium chloride comes and uh, changes into vapors right and these vapors rise up and get converted into solid ammonium chloride on coming in contact with the cold inner walls of the funnel and you in this way you can um, separate uh, you can get pure ammonium chloride on the inner sides of the funnel in the form of sublimate and then it can be removed and common salt that does not under change into vapor so it remains behind in the china dish so um, the the uh, mixture has been separated into its constituents into its components ammonium chloride and so common salt okay so this method can be used only when one of the substances is sublimable okay now the third method is separation by magnet now you know iron is attracted by a magnet right so this property of iron is used to separate it from a mixture it means so if, if a mixture contains iron as one of the constituents it can be separated by using a magnet so only then you can use this method when iron is there or when some magnetic substance is there so for example we are having a mixture of iron fillings and sulfur powder so we can separate this mixture by using a magnet because iron fillings they are attracted by a magnet they will get stick to it and sulfur is not attracted by a magnet right so in order to separate iron fillings from sulfur powder you need to have a magnet so you can use horseshoe type magnet that is moved on the surface of the mixture and what happens to iron fillings they get attracted by the magnet they cling to the poles of the magnet and get separated and this process has to be repeated a number of times uh, to complete separation of iron fillings and sulfur powder it's not attracted by a magnet so it remains behind and in this way you can separate a mixture of iron fillings and sulfur in fact you can also separate a mixture of iron fillings and carbon powder by using a magnet in a similar way and uh, if you are having a mixture of iron fillings and sand that can be also separated by using a magnet carpenter can also separate iron nails from sawdust by using a magnet because iron nails stick to the magnet and sawdust does not in fact in industries impurity of iron present in several substances is removed by the use of magnets even you know that the waste material which is supplied to factories that contain a number of scrap metals including iron so in factories uh, what they do they uh, uh, scrap iron is separated from the heap of waste materials by using electromagnets they are fitted in a crane uh, they are fitted to a crane and then by using those electromagnets they separate uh, the scrap iron from the heap of waste materials so we can use this method for the separation of two solids so these are the methods which can be used to separate the mixture of two solids